Hi guys, Del here, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Limitless Equipment Alpha XS IFAC. You can pick these up um, for £25, but this I got on a deal for £15. If you keep looking on different websites, you'll find this. So let's take a quick look at this IFAC. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and click the notification bell. And let's uh, take a look at this kit. So let's take a look at the Limitless Equipment Alpha XS IFAC. As you can see we've not opened this one yet. So the Molly pouch itself is really good quality. Molly compatible. Velcro on the front with the front pocket. You can put your information um, or a notepad in, in, in the front pouch there. So that's handy for that. So let's take a look inside. The Easy Assist the zip pulls are really good, if you can see that. The loop on it, really strong. Nice and accessible quickly. Even if you had gloves on you could get into that. So, inside the pouch itself, let's take a closer look. So looking inside the pack itself, We've got the trauma shears, we've got adhesive foam dressings, medium dressing bandages, low absorbent burn um, dressings, an emergency blanket, resuscitation face shield, tri bandage, zinc oxide tape, gloves, tweezers, 10 mil spray bottles, safety pins and alcohol cleaning pads. The shears themselves are of a decent quality. Sometimes you buy these kits and they're really flimsy. These aren't. As you can see, they're good. There's no play on these. They will cut. Not like useless ones you get out of cheap kits that are five or ten pounds and don't cut for jack. The spray bottle is what it says it is. You can put water in this, alcohol cleaning solution, um, anything really depending on your environment. Um, you can put things to aid you there. I would just put like a water or, or an alcohol cleaning gel in that um, just to help clean surfaces. The tape, a small roll of zinc tape, ideal for your dressings. Safety pins, safety pins are always handy. Inside here, directions for use on your thermal emergency blanket. Seems a decent quality. Let's take a little look inside that. Now, obviously, this IFAC is just an off the shelf one, so you will change it out to what you need um, and to what your requirements are and to what your skill set is. So, your skill set is very dependent on what you carry in your IFAC. There's your different dressings, all sealed, no punctures in the seals, which is good. You can see that. Still holding well. Decent pair of tweezers. Little clip there to keep them together. And then the pouch with um, the rest of your kit in it. Now, as you can see, it's just a small life pack. Basically, to put on your pack for, you know, if you're just going out on a day walk, shops, whatever you want to do. If you just need a little life pack, if you've got kids and things like that about, you want plenty of plasters resuscitation sealed you can pick these up free in a lot of places you can actually go into st andrews which is equivalent to st john's and pick these up um, from the counter they are great aid to carry i carry them on a pouch on my keys on my vehicles which is good too sutures stereo trip sutures these are really good they're putting more and more in, into first aid kits now these um, just to close the wound up i like those your pre-injection swabs, obviously they're not for injections, these are just for wiping down the area before you apply. Different size plasters, again just mix them up. Just keep adding to this kit and then your dressings, your wound dressings and your wound pads. Okay, this is just a basic IFAC.
overall I like it it's a good ground for a small kit to build upon I like the pouch I think the actual money's in the pouch itself really rather than the contents it's a good waterproof pouch good quality 1000D I like the little tab pulls on it securing pulls I think the pouch is really good quality the equipment inside we can just keep building upon it they're supposed to come with a rat style tourniquet but it's not in this kit um, you've seen other videos on tourniquets and things like that I've stopped posting videos with tourniquets because the tourniquet police come out and slate you saying it's not real and not a real not real um, not not cat and things like that but you know if you've been in situations you'll use anything as a tourniquet just to make a uh, just to, to stop the bleeding and to prevent you know your casualty from dying so, so let's not go into the whole tourniquet subject with it this is just a basic IFAC so I picked this up for £15 the retail for £25 is it worth £25? quality of the pouch is really good and then the basic contents inside so really your, your money's in the pouch itself and then the, the content of the filled in, inside I'm glad I picked it up for £15 um, I thought it was a good buy at that but I'll let you decide what you think upon that I like it I'll be adding it to my kit it already is in my kit um, so I'll, I'll, I'll add it just to just a, an everyday pack um, I'll add a few different things to it but that's a quick look at the Limitless Equipment Alpha XS kit So there we just had a quick look at the Limitless Equipment Alpha XS kit. Leave it up to you to decide whether you'd spend that money on it. At £15 I got a bargain. I think these pouches themselves are worth that, especially these quality of pouches. Um, you, you know, a standard pouch you'll, you'll pick up for, for £10, so the pouch itself is worth it at that price. Um, £25 for it. It's debatable. There's a, it is a small IFAC kit again just to keep in your everyday pack or just in your vehicle please make sure the best thing for these type of things is to get training get first aid training um, and then you'll have more of an insight the great kits for what to want to build upon like I say the plasters, the zinc tape, the shears they're all things that you can use um, every day without so much um, looking at expanding on advanced kit I do carry advanced kits, I do carry bleed kits I've been trained, I've been trained for too many years to be honest with you but this is a decent quality I do buy these things, it's not free, it's not given um, it is bought and like I say I don't touch on the on the tourniquet parts of it now just for the simple fact that we've got tourniquet police out there who seem to think they know everything and everything without being in situations that they've probably never used but we're all aware of that aren't we? Us backyard bushcrafters we like little bits of Gucci kit so thanks for watching um, click the notification bell for watching my future videos I'm trying to get one a week out just now um, a bit difficult with working all the time but I'm working on it and we're getting there with it thanks all everybody for your support um, and just stay prepped stay safe out there and support each other Dell out <laughs>